Hello everyone, today we are making a joystick system for our Unity Mobile games similar to this one. As you can see, we can move, we can rotate, and we are also playing our character animations. So, let's get it started. You can see this is our uh, starting scene. On the scene, we have some uh, environment components and a ground, it's just a plane, and trees. These models I got from uh, Kenny Asset, Asset Stores, those are free. I will add the link uh, for the environment and the character model as you can see uh, this one okay I will add this links I mean, I mean downloadable links on video description okay so this character as you can see has an animator controller and have uh, two animations here so first we need to import a package okay this one joystick pack and it's free by the way so for if you are using it for the first time you have to download it and import now uh, after importing let's create a script called mm, character movement manager okay so take a empty game object and name it this one and then reset add the script uh, so we are using joystick pack but if you want to uh, you can use like your own joystick controller um, but this one is for free and it's it has no bugs and it works perfectly okay so and we have to do we have to set up our input first okay so scale the skin size and after importing the joystick pack uh, you will get this folder then go to prefabs and use the variable joystick okay so I'm using variable joystick uh, uh, the reason I'll show you okay uh, first let's reset the value and so now if we run it uh, let's see it's working our input uh, UI input is working then if you are using this pack you can also use like floating yeah and my favorite one dynamic one this is my favorite if you if if you play a lot of hyper casual game or mobile games uh, maybe you will see something similar to this you know so now uh, our target is to control player movement from this input okay so let's change it to dynamic and character movement manager open it Let's fix the name is first first. Okay. And delete the M default methods. First uh, we need to get the access of our joystick direction, okay? So we have public variable joystick and variable joy um joystick. Let's see. Then We are going to create a method public void um, let's first enable uh, enable joystick input so stick input for that we need two reference public canvas input canvas and also we are going to declare a boolean variable okay public pool is joystick is joystick true and we're going to input canvas that's okay, that's it true uh, i'm using this method that's because sometimes um, on your games especially in hyper hyper casual games 
you can have multiple inputs like tap then joystick so you can declare a method for this one uh, we only have one input so i'm calling I, i'm enabling this uh, joystick input from here okay now we are going to uh, call update if our joystick input is true uh, var uh, movement direction we are going to get the uh, direction from our joystick inputs okay so new vector 3 joystick dot direction dot x 0 0.0 f and then joystick dot direction dot y if uh <coughs> anyone not understanding like why is 0 f that because joystick is a 2d okay it's, it's a 2d uh, we are getting the value in 2d but we want to move our character here in 3d space right so we don't want to go up we just want to go z axis then x axis okay so that's why we are keeping our y value to zero now we got a move direction let's move it right now uh, for moving our objects we need another component you can use like uh, first let's select our character and then add a character controller and for movement i'm using character controller but you can i mean it's up to you you can use a simple uh, rigid body then uh, move with it but uh, on my experience i saw some jittering on whenever i try to use uh, rigid body uh, so for um, uh, but i uh, i think you can fix it but for me i think it's convenient to use uh, this character controller is easy uh, it just uh, e and it has a default method i'll show you how okay so just take public character controller controller okay and now you're going to use character controller dot simple move to movement direction and we are going to multiply it with uh, a movement speed movement speed s p w d okay so we need to declare this variable public float movement speed okay you see uh, this is just one line of code and it should be working okay first we need to assign our variables here we need to use our joystick uh, canvas first then our variable joystick here character controller a movement speed let's say 5 and if we play it right now our character should move you see our character is moving uh, if anyone is seeing our character is uh, um, move from people's that because it has like an idle state it just is idle state okay so now uh, our character is moving from our input now what we want to do is rotate our character right so for rotating our character we need like also if movement direction function dot square magnitude less than or equal to zero we are going to return otherwise uh, we are going to rotate our mm, <coughs> rotate our player right so our aim is to move our forward uh, player forward uh, forward direction to the input direction right so there is a uh, very simple method on unity is called like uh, bar target direction equal to called what direction is called uh, vector three dot rotate towards which will take our controller 
dot forward uh, transform dot transform dot forward then our target to move in direction and also take another input for like rotation rotation is rotation is speed into time the delta time so we can control our uh, rotation speed okay and lastly 0, 0.0 f so what vector t move uh, rotate was uh, does is like rotate our uh, it rotates our character controller transform that forward uh, our this direction to our input direction with this speed and b angle between them can be maximum to 0 f okay now we are going to first we need to declare it to let's copy it and paste it here now we are going to rotate our character uh, towards our target direction right so character controller uh, not this one controller transform dot rotation equal to quaternion quaternion loop rotation up yep. to so target direction so now we should be able to rotate our characters too okay so let's give us like say 10 if you play it right now you see our character is rotating nice uh, also we uh, um, mm, yep yeah it's working yeah <laughs> it's looking weird that because the ideal animation is um <laughs> is weird uh, okay so now let's fix this okay what we, we want to do is when our uh, movement direction is zero uh, we want to set our uh, animation state to idle okay first we need public animator player animator okay then we are going to set bool run false and then if it's not then we're going to show okay uh, so we, we are using run that because you can see it has a run variable and the condition you can say run true and run false okay now if of uh, first we have to assign the variables okay so assign our variables here from stickman here you see it's working perfectly and it doesn't look wi weird okay uh, so our uh, so our character uh, joystick movement is done but one thing uh, is that our our camera is not following okay camera is not following Th that's a bummer that because we uh, we want to like mm, we want our camera to follow the player right so for this purpose you can use a custom script but i'll be using uh, unity's which is called Cinemation. Yeah, I think it's, it's cool. Cinemation is actually cool, to be honest. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Yeah. Then, this is our main camera, right? Okay. Let's hit import. Da, 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 da. Yep, got imported. Then, we are going to use, create a Cinemation camera virtual camera and call it uh, follow camera so it will follow our character right uh, we don't want so let's use the settings first it will follow follow it will follow our character and composite do nothing and we want to binding mode to wall space okay now we have to adjust our camera position uh, so here uh, to like 7 hmm, 7 to 9 and let's say 5 oh no 5 is too much ok then we want to Okay, 
Yeah, this angle seems good. Maybe more. No, 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 no more. Here. Okay. Now that's it. Our camera follower is done. Uh, if you uh, if you play it right now, you should follow our character. You see? Yeah. It's also uh, from the scene you can see that our uh, follow camera has a damping. You see, it's it's smooth transition. But let's say if you don't want it, uh, you can also change it from here damping to zero. But mm, you see now there is no. But I want to keep it that because I like it. <laughs> okay, that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.